Yeah, let's talk about how your call extensions can appear. Yeah, so one thing that is really interesting that I don't think I particularly knew this until I went through the help document, which is why I love doing these support docs and going through them. Your phone number can show in the headline. Okay, through so the call write, extension. Through the call extension. So the call wow. extension can show the phone number can be in the headline. It's bigger. It's the blue. It's, it's blue. It's big. It's huge, right? I mean, that's yeah. a huge deal. So instead of, you know, a, a written up, you know, long three headline kind of thing, you might be able to show in the headline uh, with that phone number. There's particular instances when they say that you must at least have one of these, I believe is the language that they're implying here. Um, one of these instances must be true. You first, the very first thing they say is you must be re, uh, you must be using responsive search ads. I'm gonna say when I'm gonna say when all these are in place. This can you occur so? when your campaign. These four you things. Think all okay. So you think yeah. all of them? Okay. Yeah. It's hard. I'm not sure, but uh, I, I, that's probably true. So number one, using responsive search ads. I could also see how you're right too, though. Yeah, yeah. and then number two has a call extension eligible to serve, which okay. that would imply if one of those was true and the other one was not true. That immediately doesn't make any sense. So I think you're probably correct that all of these have to be well true. used. Well, you de yeah, because you definitely have to have a call extension eligible to in, serve. Or, in order for this to work. Yeah, yeah, so it wouldn't work either way. So so far, it seems like all of them. I really um, don't like the the kind of person that that line is in there for. Yeah, like that's that kind of person that goes, well, you didn't say this, so I'm just <laughs> checking. Like the people that can't that handle a little bit of so implication. Some you know editor kind of saw people. this yeah. and like some jerk was like, well, guys, you didn't say that you had to have a call extension. Thanks, Bob. It's implied, yeah. Thanks, Bob. Great. So number three, optimizes bids towards a call conversion. This one is really interesting because that means um, that I think, I think what it's implying is that you are, you have your goal set to uh, focus on the call that you want to get you want you're wanting call conversions and you're allowing it to optimize so it sounds like what it's implying is that this is going to happen if you have automated bids focusing on well, look at the next one uses smart bidding strategies like target yeah. cpa or maximize conversion so it sounds like you have to have calls from ads conversion in your conversions yes mm -hmm. put it in the conversion column as a goal as mm -hmm. a goal yeah with this new thing as a goal yep. that it optimizes for and, and using meaning what when i'm saying that it optimizes for i mean the bidding strategy optimizes for conversions right so yeah all four of those so if you want to be able to show we'll say all three we don't need to even focus on have a call extension eligible to serve it's like yeah, that's true bob yeah. yeah so but i'm asking myself when do i have these in place well obviously the call extension but uses responsive ads very 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 common yeah. like very common Nine, yep. 95 plus percent of the time um optimizes bids towards a call conversion to me that's the same as well do i have my calls from ads conversion as a goal do i have it goal. in my column yes conversions yes always probably probably always probably always on the responsive search ads but what it comes down to for me is using the smart bidding strategy like target cpa or maximize conversions yeah Sometimes I have those, sometimes I don't. It sounds like when I don't, I'm going to miss out on the chance for my call yeah. extension to show in the headline. But I just did multiple searches here, and I'm not seeing that, and I very rarely recall ever seeing that. So this is kind of like a rare thing in the wild, yeah. I think. Yeah. I, I, I mean, multiple things have to happen. Number one, you're probably going to have to be in either first or second position. You're going to have to have all of these things. Google's going to have to decide that, the optimal experience for this kind of search needs to be a call. There may right? be industries where they just rule out and they yeah. say, yeah, we never put the headline in the uh, call extension, the headline in these industries. Yeah. You know, it, it's just probably going to be, it seems like a very localized kind of thing. You're looking for a local service. You want to talk to a person, you know, where, uh, you know, it, it doesn't, you know, so it probably wouldn't happen on e-commerce uh, types of stuff. Seemed like it'd probably happen for like a lead gen kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, it's really interesting. I personally had never really considered how frequently it might happen, but they do imply that it can happen. And if you're interested in it happening, those are the factors that you need to make sure you have them set for. And then how your call extension can appear, Chris, just more generally and more often desktop, 
these days I'm just seeing it, it as a little phone number next to the URL. And then on mobile, it looks like what they're going with now is in the below the ad, they have a phone graphic, like a phone, um, a image of a phone, and then call and then the number. And you can click yeah. on that number. Yeah. What? At least on my phone. Just to divert a bit, Jason. That's what, that's what bit, I do. That's what I one, do. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. You're very good. What um, were we talking about? <laughs> what what to what bothers me about the call extension? You know, we're later in the show now. It's time for the little bit of griping that I like to do. All right, unbutton the caller here. Loosen yeah. up, Chris. What are you going to do to loosen up? You don't have any. I don't have any the buttons. Yeah, are, can any you buttons. pull down as hard as you can and rip your shirt for Just... us, please? Do it. Two hands. <laughs> Go as hard as you can. See if no, you can rip a, it. A, like you don't. You don't own is... nice shirts. Go. No, not. That, that's what, not you, what years? All right. Well, let's this do our is, thing this, here. What, what year is this shirt from? This year brand new just unwrapped it today Look someone's at that. had a good year i can't ruin this collar yet it's tight you just unwrapped it today just unwrapped it today do you wash clothes before you wear no. them or neither do i often unless yeah. they're because they look clothes. better i mean i get that like itchy like factory stuff on me and it yeah. breaks me out and I, you know i have boils but still it looks crisp and it looks nice crispy chris mm. is this shirt appropriate to share on the air is there anything <laughs> on it I need to check. No, yeah, no. I don't wear shirts with things on it anymore. See, it's nothing I'm a professional. Yeah, I don't wear. I hate logos. I hate wow. things on on like, no, unbranded. Well, good for you. You got your new shirt. You really good. did divert. I had a topic and you diverted completely. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so the point. <laughs> Why? Well, point... you're negative on them for to yeah, what makes the, you the, a little bit negative? The negative. I'm surprised. That... I don't know one negative thing about them. But... Tell, I think I think you're going to agree. I'm going to go so far as to say I absolutely think you agree with this. The one thing that drives me crazy is if on a, on the mobile experience, if you tap that number, it pops up on a smartphone and says call. Yeah. Call or cancel. Call or cancel. As I understand it, you get charged at the click. You the absolutely do. Yeah. You absolutely do. So they Once hit the no, person no clicks. So and 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 that is very common. For people to hit cancel, I'd say almost like a fifty percent rate for people to hit cancel. Uh, maybe maybe that's a little high. Maybe a thirty percent rate, but you can see yeah. what your rate is by looking at the actual. Uh, well, this is a hard way to tell, but you could look at your call conversion. You know, let's say you have a two Chris, second. No, call no, conversion. you can you can go to your call extension. You can look at well. Yeah, it's no, no. You can do it. You can do it. It can be done. Okay. You can. It's a, it's a little complicated here, but you go to your call extension okay you segment out by this extension versus other and the reason right. i only know this is because i got to pull that up. i have it pulled up you ex you segment out this extension versus other and uh well actually let me try let me try click type yeah. really quick so yeah you can do this so you segment out by click type when you're looking at the call extension mm -hmm. segment out by click type i'm looking at 16 clicks overall where i'm looking at the call extension but then mm -hmm. i segment out by click type and it says headline 12 of them mobile clicks to call three of them site link one of them so i got three clicks on the mobile click to call phone number mm -hmm. out of 16 clicks overall but the three were on the phone number three times i got the pop-up to say do you want to call this number three yep. times and then i have a column pulled up called phone calls and i have two phone calls not yep, conversions, not 30 seconds, not, not 60 yeah. seconds, because I only have three. one conversion. Yep. But it'll show you how many people clicked yes on the call. So for me, that's a ratio of 67%. Let me just 30. go back. One third. I said one third. Let me do all time here. Uh, it's a new campaign, so two out of three. Mm. I don't have good data here. but um, One third, yeah. That's, but come on, brother. That's We're talking sample size here. And I am a scientist, okay? Okay. Well, anyway, that's my that's my gripe is that you will pay money and unlike a website click where they're at least going to go to your website, yeah. they can literally just hit cancel and then say, "No, I didn't want to call them right away." Then they click on your website and So maybe Google cuz they control Android, they could put this in and then maybe they could talk to their friends at Apple, but for a call Insta extension call. call clicks especially and people didn't know they were clicking a phone number or whatever, maybe it would be cool if you had call this number yes no go to website 